Alright guys, and we have arrived at Stedman's Motorsports, aka Monster Turbo Systems. They will be doing the turbo on the Boozo next year, but for now, we're going to get a dyno tune done, get a rough drivability, nice drivability, rough power, we're not looking for big numbers. So, this is a commuter. I want to have fun, I want it to be safe for number one, because it's going to get a lot of nitrous in its lifetime. So real safe tune, a lot of timing pull, a lot of fuel. You get the gist. bad for some base pulls off the map that I came up with. Uh, it's dead rich on the second map. First map's actually pretty damn close, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's a little leaner than we like, but pretty good. Like today we're targeting mid-13s. It was 14.0, so pretty damn good. Uh, 167 horsepower, but one little glitch there where it shot to 180, but 167 to start with ain't too bad. As you saw, we're getting somewhere. Uh, we had to pull fuel up top and a little bit added in the in middle and then smoothed out the bottom end a little bit. Other than that, my map wasn't too horrible. Uh, it wasn't too great, but it wasn't too horrible. It was runnable. So uh, I think he's gonna let it chill, make a couple little adjustments on map one, and then we'll jump to map two for the nitrous. I got two bottles. Hopefully we only need one. Uh, we're just looking for a stable, safe air fuel pull enough timing to be good and healthy and able to spray it all I want without worrying about it blowing up. So we're going to start out with a full, full tank. Hopefully it don't taper too fast, otherwise I can just switch between tanks and try and keep it stable. Well guys, that was Dino Day with Dragonfly. Uh, much better Dino Day. I've got a better idea how the day needs to go, how I need to film. So hopefully we got some good shots. The angles weren't the greatest because, well, there's only one spot I'm really supposed to stand, and that is out of the freaking way of that wheel, out of the way of that chain, and definitely not directly in front of the exhaust or in front of the bike. So really, there's, there's one spot. The other spot's got a wall. Uh, we did pretty darn good. Uh, on motor, we're... 159, I think we had a peak one of 162 horsepower motor. That's pretty good, considering his dyno will typically take a stock one and put it at like 145, 150. So pretty good gains from really stupid simple mods, not anything extreme done to it modification wise. And then we got the spray that put us at our target. Well, goddamn close enough. Okay, our target was 200 to 215. I'd really love to have seen 215, but there's no point in it. 200's enough. We got 199.36 horsepower, so 199 horsepower, I'm calling that 200 all day long, because out there in the real world, you got the Ram Air actually working. You've got higher bottle pressure, well for one, because the bottle was fairly chilly, uh, it was probably only 8 900 PSI, I can spray it at 1100, that would get me there in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, it's healthy, it's good, it rips, we're ready, yee. -ye.